we thank you. Oh, Lord, we come before you. Yes. We come before our king. Yes. Because we're humble and faithful servants. Yes. Because you gave us this precious life. Yes, Lord. And we are so grateful for it. Yes. Oh, Lord, we thank you right now. We ask that your words flow this morning yes. to this bereaved family, Lord. We ask that you would comfort the Ford family. Yes. We ask that you would comfort the Chambers family. Yes. We ask that you would comfort the Gates family. Lord, we thank you right now thank for this beautiful family. Yeah. We honor you. Yeah. The most powerful name that we know. That's Jesus Christ, we pray. Yeah. Amen. 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 Before I share a few words with all of us here this morning, I promise I will be brief. I want to go on record here before we continue. There are some special angels that God brought before the family and supported the family in many ways. There's been many cards and phone calls and text messages and emails and prayers and hugs and all of the above. And the family is just so grateful. We want to go on record in thanking the executive leadership team from Merchandise Mark, and I know some of the executives are in the, in the church building here this morning. That's going to and, and, and bless our brothers and sisters for their generosity, for their compassion, for their care and support uh, at this time. Scripture tells us that let not your hearts be troubled. Ye that believeth in God, also believeth in me. Amen. It goes on to say that in my Father's house, I don't think y'all hear me this morning. The word goes on to say that in my Father's house, there's not just one mansion. There's just not two mansions. There's just not three mansions, but the word says that there are what? Many yeah. mansions in my father's house. My word to you this morning is, as I was reflecting on thinking, having a conversation with Jermaine, and said, Jermaine, what you want me to say to the family this morning? What you want me to speak to the family about this morning? And the prompting of the Holy Spirit and the whispering from heaven down into my heart, into my soul from Jermaine was saying, tell him this, fam. How can I get one? Y'all didn't catch that, did you? See, y'all got to wake up this morning. Because in my father's house is what? Many mansions. Many mansions. So the whispering of the words from our dear brother said to share with you, how can you get one? Amen. The question is, do you really want one? No, y'all ain't woke this morning. See, y'all still under the cover. Y'all still drinking iced tea and coffee and then orange juice. But are you interested in getting one? Do you want to get one of these mansions? Because the good news is this morning, as we've already heard, our soldier in the army of the Lord, he's already got his mansion. Amen. Ha ha. He's already got his mansion. He's all tucked in. The gates have opened. Unexpectedly open, but the gates have opened. And so the word this morning, how can I get one? But do you really want one? Well, the first thing you got to understand, if you want one of these mansions, because there's many, there's many mansions, the first thing you got to understand is that you got to trust. You know what I'm saying, Pastor? You got to trust in the Lord. Amen. With all your heart, your soul, your mind, your strength, your pure presence. Yes. 
Amen. If you want to mansion, you got to do all those things, fam. Yeah. You got to do all those things, friends, if you want one of these mansions. The question is, do you want one? Question is, do you desire one? Or do you, or are you satisfied with living the worldly life? <clears throat> are you satisfied in living the worldly life? But are you interested in receiving one of the rooms in the mansion? So the words, the first thing you got to do is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean, not on your own. Understanding. Understanding. But lean on the Lord. <clears throat> See, friends, I don't know about you, but I wised up years ago. And I knew that my own understanding was not enough. And there are some people walking around today believe that their own understanding is enough to make it through this thing called life. The second thing that we understand about if you really want to obtain one of these mansions and one of these rooms, because it says in my father's house are many mansions. If you were not so, I would not have told you. But it goes on to say that I'll prepare a place for you. Oh, come on, y'all. I go and prepare a place for you. That means that there's already some stuff been laid out for you. We don't know when our number is going to be called, but the reality is your number will be called. Amen. See, some people believe that they're immortal because they watch all of these science fiction movies and everything else, think you're going to live forever. But the reality is your number is going to get called. Amen. And the truth of the matter is, are you going to be prepared? Because there are some people that think that there's a room stored up for them based on a form of entitlement. Of entitlement. You think automatically you deserve a room because you was born into this world. Because of a sense of entitlement. As if God owes you something. Y'all don't hear me this morning. Y'all ain't listening to me. You think you're going to get up in heaven out of entitlement because you think God owes you something. But friends, I'm here to tell you this morning, you owe God something. Amen. Amen. If you don't believe it, that's your neighbor. You owe God something. Because the same way you came in this world, God brought you in. So God don't owe you a thing. We owe God. We owe God for our very existence. Amen. From the time we came out of our mother's womb, we should have been praising God in the creed. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all don't hear me this morning. Yeah. See, y'all think I'm playing. Yeah. There's a homegoing celebration. We're praising God this morning. Amen. We come out the crib. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all don't hear me this morning. Yeah. Amen. God don't owe you a darn thing. Amen. But y'all think out of entitlement, y'all gonna get up in heaven. But I'm here to remind some folks that you see these things right here? What you have to do to get in? There's a passcode in it. Amen. Now they got it where you, you can do the face recognition. Some of y'all are gonna get in heaven. Because you know the passcode. Some of y'all are gonna get up there, and ain't gonna be no face recognition. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Amen. Some of y'all gonna get go up to the door. Mm. Got your bags packed, loaded down, right. thinking you're gonna walk through the pearly gates. All, right. All of a sudden, no face recognition. It reads you have been declined. Mm. You have been declined. No face recognition. You don't know the passcode. Because you know why? 
Because the ignorance of a fool is a pathway to hell. All right now. All right. Y'all hear me this morning. All right now. The ignorance of a fool is a pathway to hell. So those that believe that God owes them something, you better get that pass code. Yes, yes. Because you're going to show up on the other side and you're going to be declined. Amen. So do not let your hearts be distressed. Believe in God and also believe in Him. It goes on to otherwise, I would have told you because I am going away to make a ready place. Mm. A ready place. It's all stored up. And if I go and make a ready place for you, I will come again. And it goes on to say, I will take you with me. So that where I am, you will be also. I don't know about you. But I'm looking forward to that day. And I can receive those words. Well done. Well done. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You did good with what I gave you. You were faithful. You were obedient. Well done. Welcome home, my son and daughter. Welcome home. Don't you want to hear those words, friends? Amen. Come on, raise your hands if you want to hear those words. Amen. Raise your hands if you want to hear those words. Well done! And your name be called out. Well done, Jermaine. Well done, Joe. Well done, Sally, whatever your name might be. I want to make sure that I'm there in that cloud of witnesses to say, I remember when. I remember when you were lost. When you were lost. When you were way lost. But then you became found. Yeah, yeah. That's the beauty of salvation yeah. in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Thomas told the Lord, he said, we don't know where you're going, Lord. How can we know the way? Yeah. The third thing we must understand is that Pasco, and it goes on to say, Jesus replied, I am the way. Y'all yeah. don't hear me. Yeah. I am the way, the truth. And the life. Yes, yes, yes. No one. Yes. You hear that key terminology? Yes. No one. That means nobody. Yes. That means not your neighbor. That means not your brother. That means yes. not your sister. That means not your mama. That means not your daddy. That means not your boss. That means not your boyfriend. That means not your girlfriend. But nobody. Nobody comes to the Father, except through me. Yes, yes. I think Jesus is the GOAT. Amen. <laughs> yes. I think Jesus is the GOAT. Yes. He's the greatest of all time. Yes. Can't be replicated. Yes. Can't be duplicated. Yes. Can't be imitated. Yes. And show up can't be replicated. Amen. Jesus is the GOAT. So, if you really want to get one of these rooms, you got to go through the Son to get to the Father. We're reminded that in 2 Timothy it says, For I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time for my departure is near. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept my faith. Yes, yes. Where's your faith, friends? Yes. Where's your faith this morning? Is your faith in the world? Is your faith in your bank account? Where's your faith? Where's your faith this morning? In the Lord. Who's your faith in? Who's your faith in? Yes, yes. Think about that for me. Who's your faith in? Yeah. Goes on to say that God truly is our refuge and our strength, but ever present help in time of trouble. Oh, we're troubled this morning. We got troubled hearts this morning. Yes, yes. But we're reminded that, therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, and the mountains fall into the hearts of the sea. Though it's like water roaring with foam on the mountains quake, and 
there is a surgeon. Oh, there is a river whose stream may glad the city of God. The holy place where the most high dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her break the day. Nations are uproared. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. And what happens? The earth melts. The almighty God is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought to the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the vows and shatters the spears. He burns the shields with fire. Oh, I love this part right here where it says, he says, but, but, but be still. Be still. Be still, family. Be still. Be still and know. I am God. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that good news, family? Amen. Isn't that good news, friends? Put your hands together. Isn't that good news? Amen. Be still and know that I am God. And I will be exhausted among the nations. And I will be exalted upon the earth. And the Lord Almighty God will continue to be with us. I'm reminded of this old gospel hymn, Reverend Taylor, this old gospel hymn, and it says something like, I will trust in the Lord. Y'all, 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 I will trust. Come on now. In the Lord. Come on now. In the Lord.
We're going to trust the Lord until we die. Amen. So, friends, as I close, I'm reminded that we serve an awesome God. Amen. We serve an awesome God today, yesterday, and tomorrow. We're reminded that he will not leave us comfortless. And words to all of our friends that are gathered here today, to the family, be remindful to reach out to the family. Amen. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen. And we're reminded of that. But as we leave this place here today, answer that question for yourselves. Do you really want a room? Are you desiring a room? Are you willing to put the work in to get the room? And not just based on entitlement, not just based on your name, not just based on your genes, but are you individually willing to put the work in to get a room? Amen. That's a question that you have to answer. I know for a fact, faith without works is dead. Amen. You got to put the work in. That's right. You got to grind. You got to remain faithful. You got to be humble. You got to serve the brokenhearted, the least of these in society. Yes, yes. Those that are homeless, those that need shelter, those that need food. Yes, yes. That's putting the work in. Yes. Amen. Not being selfish, but caring for others on this journey and this thing called life. Yes. Our brother Jermaine put the work in. Yes. Amen. He served the youth. He protected those each and every day to make sure that they can put the work in. That's yes, right. Yes. Showed up. Showed up. Faithfully. She may have did that work. And he did his move. He did his move. Now the big teddy bear. But a little teddy bear. And he's our Jermaine. And I think if we clap loud enough and shout loud enough, he would understand how much we love him and how much we're going to miss him starting right now. <laughs> Father God, we thank you for this service. We thank you for this moment. Father, we ask right now that there is someone here in this church this morning that is struggling with that question. I want a room. I want to do the work to get the room. And it starts by simply saying, Lord, I am broken. I've tried everything that this world has to offer. I'm empty, I'm weak, and I'm a sinner. And right now today, I'm confessing with my tongue, with my heart, with my soul, that I need a Savior. Yes, yes. And Father God, I'm opening up my life to you right now in this day. Yes. Take me for who I am and all of my brokenness yes. and all of my weakness and all of my shortcomings. Yeah. I'm inviting you right now into my life yeah. to be the head of my life, yeah. to be my savior. Lord, here I am, yeah. take me. Yes. Yes. I'm yours. Yes. And I will do everything that you call me to do. Yeah. I will be faithful, yes, humble, and obedient servant in this world. Yeah. I will make you proud of the person that you created. And I look forward to that day that you can welcome me home and say, well done, well done, well done, well done, my good and faithful servant. Welcome home. Welcome home. Yes. 
Yeah. Father God, we know right now that your name has been welcome called. Yeah. And that gives us a peace that passes our greatest understanding. Yeah. And we can relish in that. We can rest in that knowledge knowing that we're the ones right now that are vulnerable. Yes, yes. We're the ones got to keep our heads on a swivel. But we know that our brother is in your arms. Yes. And he's wrapped up and he's welcomed by the cloud of witnesses. Yes. And we give thanks to you for that. Yes. And we also welcome those that shared that prayer here this morning yes. to welcome them into the family of believers. So God, we give this service back to you now. And ask that you would give us travel mercies as we make our way to the burial ground. We ask for travel mercies along the way. Lord, thank you for this amazing ministry and church and park community. We ask now that you would be with us henceforth and forever. And all of God's children say, Amen. 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 Give God a hand clap. Amen. We're going to have the to come forward. We're going to procession out. At this time, the masses, the family, and everyone else remains seated until the family has exited the, the sanctuary here. Uh, at this time, if the family would rise at this time. We need the pole bears to come forward and we need some assistance for the uh, and, and six 